Hey guys, we're here on 76 and we're checking out how to tame animals for your camp. Now I did a video on this before, but I've learned a lot and there's been some things that have changed and there's a lot more stipulations that I didn't know about that I want to mention to you guys. So I'm going to go through and explain pretty much everything I know about taming. So you see I have my deaf claw here, he's just sitting here checking me out. You also see that it has my name and my little picture above it. That's awesome. So he'll guard my camp. Um, I get some dogs that come over here. Let me see if I can aggro them over. Okay, I've got a mole rat chasing me. Let's see if he'll do something about it. Save me, Deathclaw! <laughs> nice. Oh, there's another one over here. Save me, Deathclaw! Sweet! So, he does attack things around your camp. Now, I tamed a wolf before, and I have these mongrels that spawn in over there, and strangely, the wolf would not attack the mongrels, maybe because they're, like, also dogs? I'm, I'm not sure how that worked. So there's a lot of stipulations for how to tame these pets. There's a very specific way to do it, and you can't just tame any random creature in the world. So let me go ahead and explain to you as much as I can, and then later on in the video, I'll show you all the different things we've been able to see about taming. Now for starters, you can only tame animals that spawn in these specific spots. Now I know of three spots on the map I will show you. Okay, I'll actually go over there and show you exactly where the spots are, but basically there's one right about here. Actually, maybe a little closer to there. And then there are two, one here, and then one when you first spawn in here at the Cranberry Glade, there's like a bunch of vehicles. I'll show you those here later on in the video. But anyway, those are three spots that spawn tameable animals. However, they have to spawn by themselves. So like random stuff spawns there every time you hop a server. So you'll have to server hop until you find an enemy that spawned by itself and it is no more than half your level. So like this guy here was 21, so you could only tame him if you were level 42 or higher. So sometimes like three animals will spawn at once in those spots and you will not be able to tame them because there's too many of them. They have to spawn by themselves. Even if one of them dies, you still can't tame it. They have to actually spawn alone. Now in my last video, I mentioned my charisma was up at nine, actually over 10. And I thought that was necessary for this. It does not seem to be necessary, but the thing that is necessary is this perk, animal friend. Now. It seems to be you can tame pretty much anything with only the animal friend perk, but I also have the Wasteland Whisperer because sometimes things don't count as animals, and I don't know if there's anything tameable like that. So I just have it just in case. But really you need the animal friend for sure. You also need space in your budget because it will take up budget in your camp. Now it's kind of hard to tell how much budget they take. It used to be that they took up the amount of one turret, but now the turrets have changed sizes and to be honest, he didn't even seem like he took up anything when I sent him home, but you definitely cannot have a max budget build or you won't be able to send him home. Also, your camp has to be on the map. So if you try to tame an animal and your camp isn't there, like you came in and somebody else had a camp in your spot, you won't be able to tame it. It'll say that your camp needs to be placed first. And that would be great if you could just place your camp down and then bring it back wherever you needed to. But if you move your camp when you have a tamed pet, they seem to disappear. Maybe that'll change by the time you've watched this video, but as of right now, they disappear. They're not repairable. You can't delete them. So like if I go here to my camp, I can't click on him and delete him. If he dies, I can't repair him. Now it seems like, I'm not 100% sure on this, but it seems like if he gets killed by an enemy like on the map, like the dogs or the mole rats, it seems like he comes back. Like I server hopped after one of my pets died and they died randomly and then I came back and it was back. I was like, wow, that's crazy. But then a guy killed it and then I server hopped and I came back and it was gone. So I'm not sure if it makes a difference if it gets killed by a player, if I just got really lucky having that animal spawn back. So when you tame an animal, it gets sent home to your camp and it will cross the map going to your camp. Now, I recommend you do not follow the pet. I learned this the hard way. I tried following it and other things spawned in and killed it. But if you just let it run home and then go away to your camp, it takes sometimes up to an hour or even more. Like one time it took like an hour and 40 minutes. One time it took 20 minutes. So it takes a bit of time for it to cross the map. Hopefully it makes it home safe. So you just kind of tame them and then hope for the best. Before I go and show you the spots and the different things that you can tame, I want to reiterate the fact that you can't delete these guys from your camp. You can't kill them. So if yours is a problem, like I had that sloth that glitched out and was killing everybody, you need to have a friend come kill it to make it disappear. So that's a little, I don't know, hopefully they fix this by the time you watch this video. I'm hoping they do some updates to this taming stuff and then I'll have to make a new video for you guys. But I'll go ahead and head to those spots and show you what else we can tame. Okay, here's the main spots, the one I showed on the video last time. You spawn in at the South Mountain Lookout. 
There's some scorched here that you'll have to kill. You spawn in like right about here. Actually, you can see exactly where it was because it left this weird technical data. Can I pick that up? No, I can't. So once you clear everything out over here, you're going to want to come up over this rock here. And I just put on bats. And it looks like we have a Deathclaw that could be tamed. Now, I already have a level 21 Deathclaw, so there's really no point in sending this guy home. It seems like every time I send one of these guys home, I end up having to leave the server for some reason before they end up getting home. So I don't know if you actually have to leave the server and come back for them to finally show up. But if you are waiting at home forever and they don't show, I recommend leaving servers and coming back and hopefully he will show up. So right here is one of the spots. I will show you the other one soon. Okay, so I fast travel to the Cranberry Glade and this is about where you show up when you fast travel right about here. And this is the random encounter spot. So we didn't get a tame this time, but we did get these creepy mannequins that spawn sometimes. There's usually a note and some random loot in here. The note changes, so it's interesting to see different ones that spawn. Anyway, let me show you the other one. So I always spawn in here for both of these. So I check right here and then I run over here. Now be careful, over to the left here, sometimes a Mirelet Queen spawns, so I kind of stay out of that swamp area. Okay, so that way is the Cranberry Glade. Ran over here. Now the way I tell where the spot is, is I look for this water here with this like a little bit of an island in the middle. And then I look for the red plants next to that. And then here we have an escaped inmate. But this can spawn in as a tame. So I'm gonna keep spawning and see if I can get a tame to spawn in for you guys. All right, I think I figured it out. I think I know who you need Wasteland Whisperer for because we have a Snallygaster over here. He's in the spot. I'm putting Wasteland Whisperer back on. And the tame option comes back. Okay, so most of these guys need Animal Friend, but some need Wasteland Whisperer. Oh my god, I'm tempted. Oh, these guys are so ugly. I don't think I can handle having it at my camp. Yeah, he's too gross. I can't handle it. I'm going to leave my death paw. But I will keep spawning in and show you that something will spawn over in the other spot. What are the odds? So I just server hopped after showing you guys that other Snallygaster, and I've got another one right here. So he spawned in this original spot here. He's not diseased. He's a little less gross, but he's still pretty gross. All the extra eyeballs and... Ugh. No. No, no. Let me show you what other kinds of not-so-gross things you can tame. Okay, I know this video is getting long, but I want to show you guys what happens when you tame, try to tame a pet and you don't have a camp in the world. So my camp cannot be placed, but I saw my alert king. It really makes me miss my king. But anyway, I'm going to try to tame it. And it says this. So my first thought would be to put a camp down right here and then tame it and then move my camp back. But it seems to be, and maybe it's changed, but it seems to be that if you move your camp, it will disappear. But it also used to be that sloths and death claws killed everybody, and now my death claw isn't killing everybody. I haven't tested it with a sloth, but it seems like they've added some updates to the taming stuff, and hopefully they'll continue to because it's kind of broken right now. Okay, now I'll really move on to all the different things you can tame. So here we'll start with the Myrler King, and I'll move on. So I showed you the Myrler King, and the rest of them I'm just going to show you images. I'm not going to do a bunch of mini clips. It's going to make the video take forever. So let me just show you some pictures I've taken, screenshots. A couple of these were taken by my friend Wicked Lit. Another shout out to him for all the help he's done with these taming videos. And I want to point out that they can be legendary creatures too. So you've seen the Myrler King, but we also have the Myrler Hunter. The Deathclaw, of course, as you saw at my camp. Um, Wicked here has seen a house cat that's tameable. It's only level one, so it probably wouldn't survive. We also found an attack dog. That was super cool, but he was level one as well and he died before he got home. That was actually in my old video. I was able to get a mongrel to be tamed and also a vicious wolf. You saw the other Snallygasters in the video. Sloths can be tamed, but before they were aggro on everybody. I hope that's changed by now. Been able to tame a rad stag if you really wanted a deer at your camp. Also a Brahmin, and that's different. Let me show you here real quick while we're at my camp. There's the Brahmin pen plan here that's the fertilizer collector it's under resources that's not the same this you did a plan for and he can be repaired so if he dies i just repair my little fertilizer collector here so i've also seen yao guai and actually wicked got a legendary yao guai to spawn he's also seen a rabbit which he had for a bit and even a chicken 
You can also tame possums if you really want, but they always seem to be level one. And I've seen rad toads too, but they always seem to be level five, which I don't think will survive very long. I also saw a rad rat pup, but he was level one as well. And a mole rat, if you really want a mole rat. They're like my least favorite mob, so no thank you. Now everybody wants to know, can you tame Scorch Beast? Well, there is a Scorch Beast that spawns over there as one of the like random encounters, but you cannot tame it. So be careful when you're server hopping. There is Scorch Beast, but you can't tame them, so watch out. So I'm sure there's other stuff that you can tame that I haven't come across, so if you find anything new, please let me know in the comments. Also let me know if you have any questions, if I missed anything. I might have repeated some things too, because I just want to make sure I get you guys everything you need to know about this taming stuff. Which reminds me, just in case I forgot, I think I mentioned it already, but if you get a scorched version of the animal, sometimes they still attack your camp. Now hopefully that gets fixed, but I would just not bother taming anything scorched in the meantime. So last time I tamed something and I already had an animal at my camp, the animal stayed at my camp. It wasn't aggro and it just stayed there until I hopped servers and then eventually my new creature came. So it doesn't seem like you have to worry about them tearing up your camp, but you never know. It's fallout. Glitches can happen. So this is another really, really long video for you guys, but I wanted to make sure I covered everything. I hope I didn't miss anything, but just in case, check the description, because if I come across anything else that you guys should know, I'll post it in there. And always comment, too, if you've got questions, I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, now it's time for the lame stuff at the end of the video, where I ask you guys to subscribe, because I really appreciate it when you do. Give the video a like if it helped you out. Let me know how everything worked for you. I'd love to see pictures of your teams, too. I'm on Xbox, M-I-Z, Tracy with an E. And we'll see you guys next time.